Derek. Derek Gleason. Do you have a middle name? I think he spelled his name funny. It's like a Derek with three E's. I can't even pronounce Gleason. He, he just had a thing about his hands. But I, I don't know if it's just all goalies or what, but I don't know if they were clammy, but he just always wanted to wear gloves and strap them up real tight. And get them around his, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I was suspicious at first, but I, I don't know. He he just Ross kept saying we got this guy to live with, and I don't know. Someone named Derek's got to be weird. He was always checking me out. He was standing behind me at practice all the time in the goal. But I guess we were good enough friends that he wanted to live with us, or I don't know. Maybe he just felt bad for us. But I never think of Derek. I always imagine him with an apron on, ladle in hand. Asking me to try his new delicious soup. You know, half the time you couldn't even understand what Derek was saying. He's speaking in some other language, like Spanish or French or something. He'd be on the phone in the hallway talking to this guy off in I don't even know where, um, talking to him. In, I guess it was Spanish that time. But then the next week it might be speaking, you know, Farsi or something else. I mean, who knows? You never know with Derek. I think he had an old flame down in Spain, the South American way. He really liked it down there. Anyway, he was always on the phone with this Gerard or something. Derek would always have all these, these parties and he'd invite his friends over. And uh, I think he thought we were coming to help him out with his um, whatever cause he was, he, was, he was working on. But really we just came for the free food. And me personally, I, I was just interested in getting some more uh, trophies, whipping up on everybody in NBA Jam. You know, got this little... Nice trophy here. I think I took Derek out in the first round. He wasn't very good. Yeah, every time Derek's friends came over, I ended up spending $10 and losing horrifically in a game of NBA Jams. I think Derek really liked to watch me lose. Oh, yeah. You like it, Derek? You like that? Derek's friends seem nice, and I mean, I met a new one every week. It just kept coming in. It seemed to be limitless. Honestly, I'm, I'm a little jealous of, of Bridget. Um, Derek's just a teddy bear. Well, maybe more of a grizzly bear, but you just, you gotta love the kid. I think he's gonna be an amazing lover. I'm, I don't know. He's got these eyes that just, these pools of sincerity, and you just could, oh, I'm sorry. I miss him. I mean, I know he's good at setting the mood. Every time Bridget would come over, I would know. He'd hit that playlist, get the music cranking. I knew she was in town. Bridget had this hair that was like silk, shining in the sun. Derek, you did a good job. Derek. You sure got a good one, man. I mean, nothing better than a sugar mama. I know you're the Spanish genius and all, but she's going to be an MD. Can't really keep up with that. I'll never forget that day. Derek and I had to say goodbye. He was going off to Indiana. I was going to be a poor farm boy back in Indiana as well, but he wasn't going to return my phone calls. We knew where this was going. And he was just walking away towards that chariot. He's gonna take him up to the sky. You always wonder what could have been. I know I do. I'm gonna miss him. He really was a great friend. Um, living with us, shared some good times. But the one thing I think I'll never forget is Derek sitting on the sideline, on the bench, with me. Let him play, ref. Just because we don't have timeouts doesn't mean you can just stop the game to catch your breath. Um, he was always the most serious player on the field um, or on the team, and he was always cared. He always cared more about the game than the rest of us. We're never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. But he had the most, cr the craziest things he would say at the referees that were so intelligent and poignant. 
that they would, the referees would be all confused at what he was saying. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna turn around and desert you. But we all were loving it on the bench. I'll, I'll never forget that. Get out of the way, ref. If you glance down, you should see your toes. If your view is obstructed, maybe it's time to hang them up. So uh, Derek and I got to be fast friends while he would watch me play this very brutal and violent video game called Grand Theft Auto. I actually got some footage of it. Um, it's a little dated. Derek had hair at this time and he was dying it black for some reason, but you know Derek in his fashion sense. But uh, I, think, I think this is a, pretty much the standard, typical afternoon for Derek and I. Can you run over that stripper? Yeah. We'll do it again. One second. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> once, once more, once more. Give me your money. Yeah, you killed that, man. Cut off that policeman's head. You got a knife or something, right? I don't think the game lets you do that. Well, try at least, man. Well, that is disgusting. Is that woman laden with child? Yeah, it's a new, it's a new update. Use a shotgun, dude. Okay. Oh. Is that a bus full of school children? Can you like drive it off the bridge? Why would I want to? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now you make those gangbangers suffer. What gang is that? I think they're nuns. So how's your like mission work going? So I talked to Gerard the other day. He's good. That's good. Oh, this prostitute won't give me my money. Dude, just put her to the ground. I'm done. Bigger grave. I think I'm having a uh, party. Where everybody comes over, you know, and gives a little, gives a little money, and uh, we're gonna. It's like, and I can't hear you over my victim's cries of agony. Oh, dude, that is the best. Oh, I just find this so relaxing, you know? Anyway, you just, I think we're gonna get some guys to come over. I'm gonna cook some guacamole and some hummus and uh, probably just uh, have everybody pay, you know, a certain amount of dollars. Maybe have a little video game tournament. I haven't decided what it's gonna be. Um, and then all the, I'll send all the proceeds to Gerard and we'll, uh, Maybe help him uh, fix fix his roof and pay for his electricity or something. He'd that'd, appreciate it. That'd be that'd be really cool, dude. Dude, did you die? Come on, seriously. Well, no true gangbanger dies. They're not a cat. That's what I've been saying. Derek, Bridget, we just wanted to uh, wish you all the best. Uh, we're really happy for you. Really excited about y'all's uh, new life together. Um, Hopefully we'll get to see you at some point. Uh, yeah, don't know he's gonna find you. On, on the flip side, after the wedding, um, I look forward to that day. All the best, guys. It's been a pleasure. Indeed.